This has been our favorite place so far, granted. I mean, look at this park, it's so nice. I gotta show you some of the things. They have these little balls out all the time you saw yesterday for everyone to just come play. Remy is by far the cutest, most complimented little kid here, which kind of sucks because it would be kind of cool for her to be playing with somebody, but baby distancing. No moms allowed. This is our fort. Good job, bud. She graduated from this thing to a bigger seat. Our RV is right there. Right this, yeah, I know. She just wants to go in there so bad. You can look at it, but you can't. So this, is our, too steep right now. this is our backyard right here. This is cool. This is the grounds. Probably 20 spots here, if that. And there's those little yurts. It's just awesome. And this is all surrounded by a creek. There's a little doggy area. Good find. Good find. This is the first time we've actually been able to just set up a little uh, play area for Remy. Hi. What are you doing? Hello. Hi. <laughs> In Cheerios. That's a possum. An opossum. It's on a cow. It's a cat. <laughs> Give the cat a kiss. Good girl. What's nice is right now I'm able to kind of catch up on like little things, like little tweaks uh, that I needed to do. Like I needed to, just basic things, just put um, some WD-40 on the awning because it's doing a little squeaks and stuff like that. And the handle, got it, just wanted to reinforce it so I got some super glue and just, just checking on little things and just doing twi tweaks because the last couple days we really haven't had much time to just enjoy the vacation. Not, not to say that hiking wasn't enjoyable, it's just you're constantly going, you know what I mean? The problem is that there's so many awesome hikes in the area, like in this area, there's so many awesome hikes. But the problem is, like we talked about yesterday, how I pretty much had like a panic attack driving down, or driving up that crazy uh, winding, I can't remember what they call it, but it's, it's back, it goes and it backtracks and it goes and it backtracks and it's like super, super, super thin. Taking this thing down right now unnecessarily might not be the smartest situation. Um, we might end up doing it, but the problem now is that it's starting to sprinkle. So I, I'm okay with trying, having a day of just kind of relaxing, not driving, right Remy? Not driving and just enjoying nature. I would love to go for another hike though. I haven't seen them, I, we saw fireflies last night. They get fireflies, we get mosquitoes. Yeah, that's oh my god, you're kidding, look at look You can hit hell. it in the ground, it's in the ground, right there. I can't tell. Oh my god, there's hail. Here. Look at the hail. What is this? Look at the rain thing. No, I saw it. What is going on? I told you that was louder than rain. Yeah. It's looked out different than we expected. It started off beautiful. Mm. I don't think I've ever been in a hail storm. Except really. for that one time. You're driving, driving. in an RV, yeah. remember? It's been a very bizarre trip. What? Remy's lone know, ball I by itself. It it's all sad and lonely by itself. It it's gonna pretty much do uh, Georgie and float away in a second. Well, uh, the river might be flooding. We might be staying here an extra day. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not working out. Grab it off the ground. Grab it off the ground. Is it cold? Oh, it's really cold out. Holy cow. It's melting like it's like perfectly like smooth and everything. Well, so like I said, if there was a clip after this and we got it online, we did. We successfully did. 
Once the hail stopped. Literally, there was that rainstorm and yeah. hail. And at first. You just saw it. It, it was, was insane. It was so insane. I thought it was just like a lot of heavy rain. But then I was like, man, that sounds so This loud. little one slept through the whole thing. You did, girl. Yeah. High five. You want to answer some questions? I think some have to do with you. All right, let's do this. Let's see how much attention we have Listen, on this you guys, little baby. We're going to have a toddler running back and forth, so bear with us. So I have all the screenshots of all the questions right now. Help. It was in daddy's lap. You want to see right here for four seconds? Okay. And, uh, that Three, bit. two. Yep. And she's gone. This is from Natasio, I think. Was it worth getting an RV? It's been worth it. We're not going to lie in the fact that it's been a little stressful with the fact that there's been little things that have gone wrong, finding wet spots or uh, water damage. Repair and learning no, how no, to no, no, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to grab all over we'll, the we'll screen. We'll fix it. A lot of like things that oh. are trial and... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Learning experiences. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, trying to figure out things like we've had issues with the slide and that's just been simply because we've been stupid and we didn't like follow those necessary steps that we all knew and we still didn't do it like correctly looking up some things with the uh the sewer the water pump mm -hmm. um just little things but at the end of the day There's a lot of things that you, you you we have we would have to learn anyways yeah it's I've been noticed better a lot of things like that we want to change yeah when we first bought this like we didn't realize <laughs> we didn't realize all of the things that we needed to get done like we had a budget so we had a certain budget Don't we ended up buying the rv for under our budget but then we had to get some major repairs done. But sometimes even the prior owners don't know of There's always hidden, the issues. hidden yeah. things when buying so, anything older. So like the people that we used. bought it from were amazing and so honest and so kind. And every question that we asked, they had they had paperwork for. And then, you know, they checked on us like constantly after we bought the RV. We ended up having, she's licking things, to up our budget, which is something we weren't prepared for. And I think once we get all the renovations that we want done, you know, the floor, the painting, the cupboards, I think it'll 100% be worth it because then we'll be able to uh, take this one. <laughs> oh, gross. All right, now we're going to take a timeout probably. <laughs> so once that's all taken care of, uh, you know, it'll definitely be uh, definitely be worth it to be able to yeah. take her everywhere. At the end of the day, no, I don't think we regret it. We have no, moments to where we kind of look at each other like, did we make a mistake? Did we buy a money pit? Well, everybody, um, I think but everybody I think feels that way. We're pretty happy with our purchase and our investment. I, oh, oh, <laughs> I don't think we, it's... All right, Rimdog. No regrets. Okay. Well, let's just keep going down the line. <laughs> this is probably my favorite question to answer of all time. Day 99, how have I been feeling lately? The other day, I kind of thought about it, and I realized that it has been a month since I had, like, when we were hiking, I was like, I'm hiking after a month after brain surgery. So, at the end of the day, I actually feel great. I don't have headaches. I don't get tired on weird stuff like that, but I feel great. Thank you for asking. This is from Liva Lava. Basically, it's kind of a piggyback on the last thing of, like, do we still feel like this is worth it? What are the pros and the cons? Pros, obviously. Uh, you get to just have your own thing, you, you get to travel whenever, you make something your own. You don't have no to deal with like, no time limit. You don't have to deal with public transportation. Uh, don't cons, don't, don't do uh, there are things that you might have to fix. It becomes an investment and uh, it's unfortunately- It's like buying a house, it really is. But it's a depreciating car. house, so that's kind of a con. If you factor in the, the pros, to me, it becomes worth it. It's just an investment that you get to utilize of traveling. So yes. And we get to share memories with obviously each other but with Remy and the dogs and you guys I think that this is like a dream come true from Madison Hunt what is the best part of traveling with Remy especially now that she's walking wait she's walking oh that's a new thing she's climbing now too watch this she shall do it she's climbing now traveling with Remy she is hilarious I think what it is is like now Remy understands things a little bit like she like when we took her on the ride around Kate's Cove. She looked at everything and she was so intrigued and like she focused on things. She focused on the animals and um, <laughs> you're so goofy. She had a personality, that's for sure. It's been a fun experience with Remy because we're seeing things differently. Watching her enjoy rain. Um, it was just so cool and so beautiful and you know, we don't really take the time to kind of ex like experience it for what it is, which is a pretty darn cool thing. It just makes it so much cooler this whole past year of her life we really haven't got the chance tra chance to travel with her so she has been seen around the house a couple of uh, places around the area but now this is the first true experience of her traveling and seeing different and experiencing different places so traveling with her has been unbelievably fun 
A little stressful at times. Very fun to see her face and her reaction on things. Thank you, Roxy Pup, 1986 asks, what has been our biggest challenge RVing with a toddler? Oh my gosh, what has been our biggest challenge? Uh, that's right here, again, going um, back up. I think it's like <laughs> relaxation. <laughs> don't really relax. No. <laughs> we used to be able to sit outside and like plan our grill. dinner and grill and just relax in the RV or just like take her um, time, don't do that. Really take her time, no, let like, go of his tail. Like go this down. Or just like that RV would be clean. That none of that exists anymore. We're like constantly chasing her somewhere. She's getting into something. We have to block something with something. The RV is a mess. Toys everywhere. And Ramirez909, do you think We The Kings will ever play again or is everyone going into retirement? I'll right. totally well, definitely. Right now we're just all in forced retirement. You need some water, buddy? We're all forced hiatus right now because of uh, the world ending and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll definitely be playing again as soon as crowds are allowed and uh, everyone starts wearing masks so venues will allow shows to happen. How? I've never met somebody who looks so tired after having such a long nap. How do we? How that's do we not do how we do it. That's how we do it. That's not how we do it. Let's try it again. Let me sit down like this. Just like at home. <laughs> You're in front of the, the camera, ma'am. How's the RV? How many miles are on it? I think there's 48,000 miles, mm -hmm. which sounds quite like quite a lot. But, but for 14 years old, not no, that much. not at all. And the fact that uh, it's well maintained and RVs are designed to go like a quarter million miles and things like that. They're meant to be driven, okay. so it's still still in its infancy. Yeah, and it's all about like maintaining it, Where'd like you, you know, phone? doing upkeep and. Making sure that you constantly get the oil changed and making sure that the engine's running well, make sure that the roof is in good condition, making sure that things are sealed, making sure that there's no water damage. A lot of those things. So if you like maintain the upkeep, the RVs can last like a, very a long, long time. time. So that's another thing we're really thankful for. They, they kept a booklet of everything they maintained. Yeah, on the main We part. obviously did a lot of maintenance on it already. I put the camera on the iPad so she could see herself. Girl. What you doing? Check it out. Dance your booty all around. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Okay. Booty. Shake your booty. Another joy joy. Did we forget to bring anything on the trip? Yes. Tripods. Right now we are currently using a suitcase. Um, we forgot GoPro straps. I forgot uh, charge GoPro batteries. Re Olivia 414. Can you watch the big TV while you are driving in the RV? Um, I don't think we would anyways. It will work. Um, technically, when the car is uh, RV is running, it will technically work. Hilariously enough, I don't think I've actually set it up. Um, do you think you'll have more children one day? Love you guys. Oh, wait, hang on. This one's from Emma Burn X. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> do you think you'll have more children one day? Love you guys. I want more. Eventually. I would love, like, I would love to have more kids. You know, that's something I think that Char and I have to like really prepare for and. We have to figure out things differently nowadays. Um, if you're like curious about that, go back and watch. I don't know what video it is, but um, it's just a it's a more prepared process if we were to have more kids. Right now, Remy is a lot of fun. I, I think we both love to have more kids, though. Question comes from Rob D. Haven. Are you renting a car at each stop? We've only car done it stop. once. We've only done it once. We didn't do it here. Um, the next place that we go. I don't know where we're going to actually end up. I've been trying to get as close as possible to the Spots. national parks or like the actual place that we want to go and hike at so that we don't have to rent a car and we don't have to move the RV. I mean, we didn't hear. Yeah. So. so the answer is not all the time, just sometimes. This kind of piggybacks on that question is like, do we have a hitch on the car and the RV, uh, on the RV as well? The RV does have a hitch. Just the fact that we're still learning how to drive this thing or I still I'm learning how to drive. I'm not ready to put a car in the back Eventually, of maybe, but I know it that kind of damages the car. So something that we kind of are factoring that it might not be worth, I uh, ended up doing that. The, the availability is there. Yeah, and a lot of people don't realize this. Like towing that extra, however many pounds, tons, whatever tons, it is, yeah. you're you end up wasting are going through a lot more gas and you put your car or your RV through a lot more wear and tear and your car. So it almost ends up calculating out better and you end up saving up it. more money by renting a car. Cause you don't need a Jeep every time you go everywhere. Like you can find cars for like 60 bucks a day or $40 a day. Lovingly Jen, she asks, what size RV do we go with? This is actually a 36 foot uh, four winds infinity. <laughs> There's so much chaos going on. Lisa's always sleeping. Katie Moo from the Lou. 
And <laughs> the doll ladies, oh look at that, that's some fancy footwork right there, Remy. Uh, they asked, uh, what is the average cost of an RV? Can we, can we push this back over there for that well, nice yes, little it, moment? It depends on the size of the RV and where you end up wanting push to stay. That. And then also, you know... Gasoline prices well, at the time. Yeah, gasoline prices at the time. Calculating food if you're going to go out to dinner or anything. Or if you're just going to buy food and have it on the RV. Then you also have to calculate in if you want to do any type of, like, special... Um, little adventures like if you want to go like excursions and stuff like any special excursions or anything of that sorts i don't really know i think on average you can go probably two i think we've done in the past two to three weeks has gone with uh like two grand i think two thousand dollars and that included like the rv trip uh itself like with um the 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 campsites just various like gas. miscellaneous gasoline. Gasoline is a big one, and we're gonna start moving again. But gasoline is a huge one, especially during and in like. RV parks. It depends if it's season. Yeah, yeah. The RV parks are the, <laughs> the biggest ones. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to keep this uh, as one of my so favorite questions. You guys want to know what it's like traveling with an infant in an RV? Get your booty over here. Mitch Ed eighty four. Mitch Ed eighty four. Who's the messiest? Remy. Remy by far. As you can see. For She's sure. like no. It wasn't For me. sure. Sure. Not me. Sure. Mart West. How has Remy been sleeping on the RV? Great. Surprisingly, hey. really well. He takes really good naps. And at nighttime, nighttime. Nat, nat, nat. The only difference I think now with sleeping is like she is sleeping in a pack and play, and like she'll sleep in the pack and play for probably like four, or five hours, and then. Camera's moving again. And then, sorry, and then some like early morning, she ends up coming into bed with us. Not for long though. So she does really, really well. Yeah, she's actually a good sleeper on this thing. How is traveling with the little one? Is she good? Actually, Remy's really, really great in the RV. She kills it on the drives. You know, Tara actually came up with the idea of getting the iPad and downloading like kids games, uh, little learning games for toddlers. Uh, for instance, this one that he's doing right now is like this game where it's all about like, um, she touches on animals and then the animal pops up and then it gives you animal noises and she learns to like go back and forth It's really really cool, but also we give her books and she loves to look through books So kind of keeping her entertained that way, but she does really really amazing especially on the drives This is from Mindy Sue 0912. What is the biggest inconvenience while RVing? For me the biggest inconvenience while RVing is the fact that the RV doesn't fit everywhere like We've that. done an RV that was like 24 feet and that we could drive that and park that anywhere But when it's one this big you really don't have that option at all. This is stationary for the duration you're here. So you have to you have to rent a car, you have to bring one. Yeah. Bennett Marks, what is it like traveling during a pandemic? You know what's actually pretty interesting? It's kind of interesting because we've noticed that some places, I want to say some, some more rural areas don't necessarily wear masks. Not uh, everyone. Not everyone. No, not everyone. Because like, for example, we went on those hikes we thought we were going to be the crazy ones actually, you know, wearing, wearing masks. masks during the entire hike. While we were doing that, we saw a lot of other people, but then we saw groups of people. I don't think it's been anything like concerning or scary no. because we've been, we have Everyone's, a huge thing of sanitizer. Yeah, and everyone is really maintaining their space, like respectfully. Except this man. Yeah, you know, come here. So it actually isn't that bad, and we haven't had to make any major stops where we're in real public places. No. Sincerely, Nels, 99. How are the dogs doing in the RV? They're actually doing really good. They they're are so very chill, chilling. very relaxed. The only thing I think that bothers them is when there's thunderstorms. Everything's louder. Because it's so much louder. And we just had a hailstorm. We just had a hailstorm just prior saw it? to filming this. And so it really freaked out Zoe. But I think besides that, they do so well in the RV. This one, I think they love it because it's so big. There's so much more room for them. They're not mm -hmm. confined in a small area. But they're just literally hanging out right now. They love it. Hey, this is the last one. Then we gotta go take her out and go play. <laughs> <laughs> this one comes from Lin Lin 2 Mom of one here. What's your go-to routine for keeping Remy calm during long road trips? Our go-to ro uh, routine, especially when driving, I think that's the biggest thing is we like to drive for a little bit and then get her out. Uh, having something to entertain her, like we said earlier, uh, we had this iPad, which not everyone agrees with, but putting the games on there and letting her listen to music really helps, but also having books on hand. She yeah, loves, loves books. books, loves them. So she can either look through them, we can read them to her. That keeps her really, really entertained. Um, snacks handy so that when you do stop, she can eat a little something. And then I think when you find your final spot, wherever you're going to park the RV, 
get the baby out, let them burn off some of that steam that they've been bottling up while driving around. I think that really, really, it really helps. It's like literally like a puppy. Just let them run around. Yeah. They'll fall asleep. Last night, we got here last night. Uh, Remy ran around the field, passed out immediately. Never seen her fall asleep so quickly. I... Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So weird, it's but it was awesome. It's the most random question and answer, uh... but it probably goes down as my favorite one we've yeah. ever done. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, the trip's not over. We don't no. know. Actually, after this, we got to figure out where the heck we're going we next. We got to figure it out tonight. And, oh my gosh, uh, we have to figure it out tonight. Yeah, right now because it's going to rain tomorrow, and we don't want to drive this down the rain really and early. hail. And uh, we will see you guys uh, in the next video tomorrow. Thanks bye. for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Remy, say bye.